Good morning, everybody. It is December 6th, Monday. Another vlog this vlog. This is a very interesting week for us. One of my kids is starting a day program over at the hospital to help them with some uh, of the issues that we're dealing with at the moment. It's a temporary program, but we are very hopeful for it. And I need to update my calendar now that I know what our family commitment is to it. I also need to get the HB90 video refilmed today because I had trouble with it last week and I need to get some orders out and just get some other work. I don't even know what I need to get done today. I talked about it in my plan with me yesterday. It's very hard for me to plan my week out until I knew what my week was going to look like and I wasn't going to know until today when we got through our intake appointment and got all the information and my commitments as a parent and everything else. So I need to update my calendar first and foremost so that I know what's going on and then figure out my week and then film the HB90 video. I had a call at nine, but I missed it. I'll just have to watch the replay later. I'm so hungry. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work because my day is severely truncated. So here is my to-do list for today. I've got my big, pro my big project that I need to get done is this review for the HB90 program, get it up and get the orders out. So printing orders, printing the eight and a half by 11s, then updating my calendar and my planners to figure out the actual fuck is going on this week. I have a, my inbox is a mess. Then filming the video and packing the orders is what I would like to get done in the morning hours. And so then in the afternoon hours, so after lunch, before I pick up kids, which is gonna take a lot longer than usual today. And then after I get back, and also these two emails are the most important ones to handle today. So I wanna make sure to get those done. I didn't really fill out the rest of it. I'm not trying to spend too much time on anything right now. My time is totally limited at the moment. So I'm gonna get started on all of that and then get moving forward. my calendar is updated and I actually anticipate only getting about five or six hours of work done a day instead of eight hours which is kind of a bummer but I was expecting it and this is more important than work. I got all my eight and a half by 11s printed and signed and they're drying. Now I need to, I'm going to open my Cricut Paper Co. advent calendar. I already looked at the David's Tea this morning. It's a herbal infusion. We'll make that when RJ gets home. Poor guy's hair froze this morning. That's how cold it is outside. And he actually wore his pants today. For everybody who was there for the pants conversation on the live plan with me, he wore them this morning. I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna open my Cricut Paper Co. Advent Calendar. I've been really liking it so far. And then I am going to head upstairs and see if I can find a good spot to film my HB90 review because <sighs> I'm so tired of having to keep refilming, but whatever, it's cool. Adhesive pockets. These are pretty. Ooh, one. There's two of them and they're both beautiful and I bet these would look very good in my HB90 setup. And I am outside with Layla. She's going to the bathroom and running around for a bit. Jesse's on a phone call. Then I will record. <laughs> I decided to film the HB90 thing in the living room or in the front room because I just, the mojo of screwing it up in the basement made me want to leave. And this is my tripod board games. This pandemic one is fucking fun though, because you have to work together instead of like beat each other. The only way you can win is if you all work together, which is something my family is not always good at when it comes to board games. We are very competitive. There's a Lou. He loves sleeping on the dining room chairs because he is really into like the little cave sensation, but it also gives him like a different place to sleep than like somewhere else. Hi, buddy. Hi, sweet Lulu. You can tell though that this chair, I don't know how well you can see on camera, even when we roll it, it's covered in Lou. 
he loved this is his, usually his favorite one <laughs> Today's lunch, tuna on these little sandwich thins with spinach. I'm gonna eat and keep editing my video. Look at my face. So I thought I had like 40 minutes after putting dinner in the crock pot to get my orders packed and to get this paperwork that I have to bring back with me when I pick up my kid. Then I realized I only have 20 minutes. I don't have time. So what I'm gonna do is just pack the orders tomorrow and take them to the post office tomorrow. And today just take care of the paperwork and not worry about the post office. Most of these orders came in like over the like past day or so. So it's not like I'm even close to being past my shipping, but whoops. <laughs> I am here at the at uh, Children's Hospital about to pick up my kid and then we're gonna leave. I need to go pick up my other kid but there's about an hour in between the two with about 20 minutes of driving and so I'm thinking if I go home it's just to go home long enough to get back in the car so instead maybe what I'll do is go to Michael's. So I thought I would show you one of my Black Friday orders that came in. Basically, I decided that I'm going to use Moxie Life's goal setting for personal goals instead of power sheets next year. So that's a decision I have made. I don't know which of the two weeklies I've got I'm using yet, but I decided with Black Fr whoops, little bright. I decided with Black Friday, I might as well order some stickers to see what I like using. I'm really getting back into the whole stickering thing. So these ones are actually from um, Monarch Plans. So we have a Black Friday freebie, which looks like it's Valentine's Day related. It's a matte sticker paper. And then here is another Black Friday freebie, little sampler. And what I got, I've seen a few people use these. I think, was it Tattoo Teacher Plans that I saw using these the most? I don't remember, but these are like weekly reflection, reflections. The prompts are provided by the Moxie Life, but they're only in the beginning. And then there's like that blank page on every week. And so these are like to give you some structure. So I ordered a few of these because they were very cheap. But I ordered uh, this pink version. I ordered this one, two, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> It was it, like I said, Black Friday sale, you guys, but like I think I'm gonna use these and this one. So I have several of those. If I like them, I have enough of them to be able to order more and have them get her. Though her, sh her shipping was hella fast. And then I have a couple of monthly setup kits that I could use in either of the weeklies that I have. So I have a February one that's like I didn't want to do Valentine's Day colors. I like these like kind of brown colors with butterflies. And then I ordered this like kind of blue and pink situation for January. About 30 bucks on all of this and I am happy with how everything looks. I have not decided yet how I'm going to organize stickers outside of the Chrissy and Designs ones I'm going to be organizing um, on my live stream that I'll leave linked up above. But it hasn't happened yet, but when you're watching this it will have. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I got to figure that out. But I'm excited to give these a try and see how they work in whichever planner I decide to go with. Bro, I finally got my ass a professional, well, relatively strength paper cutter. I used to refer to these as a chop chop, the guillotine style ones. My God, do I even know how to use it? No, wait, yes I do, here we go. 
Look at that shit. If ever somebody breaks into my house, I can break this off and use it like a machete. So I've been printing out my HP90 stuff. Took me a bit of time to figure out how to print the letter sized half letter, double sided. So satisfying. Good morning. It is the seventh Tuesday. I didn't finish vlogging last night. I was exhausted. I was so tired. And all I wound up doing last night was making dinner, which was good. It's the pork. It's like a pork, I'll leave the recipe, it's really yummy. It's a pork tenderloin that you make in the crock pot with um, like a, like the sauce you cook it in you make, like the, the liquids are like chicken broth and balsamic vinegar and garlic and soy sauce and brown sugar. It's, and then you make gravy out of it. It's so good. I did it with roasted potatoes and broccoli and it was yummy, we all ate it. Layla tried to eat all of our food. <laughs> she tried to eat, she was just very interested. I'm still adapting to our current pick up and drop off routine, which has had to change. In the past, what I would do is just drop off the kids. It would, I could do my bathroom, take like, you know, 15 minutes to drop them off and then come back. But currently, because one of them is in a program over at the hospital for the next couple of weeks, um, I actually have to leave earlier. I have to be dressed because I have to go in. And the whole process takes about an hour and a half. So I left, we left the house around 7.50 and I walked in the door at about 9.20. So that's gonna be the drop off for the next couple of weeks. And then the pickup is very similar. I have to leave around two-ish and then I get home after getting one of my kids at like the whole process is from like 10 after two until 3.45 or four which is also a long process. And then today, after that process, one of my kids has another appointment at 4.30. So I don't anticipate getting a lot of work done in the next couple of weeks. So I really have to hammer down and prioritize what has to get done today. And I have a list, I'm not, I haven't made my list yet, but I have a list of three specific things that need to get worked on today. I need to pack orders and get them to the post office. That's one thing. I know it sounds like two, but one, I take care of orders. <laughs> one thing. And then I need to answer a couple of important emails. I already answered the ones from yesterday. I have a couple more to deal with today. And then I need to work on my freelance work because that has been getting put to the side, put to the side, put to the side. I need to do that today. I don't, I probably have maybe four, four and a half hours of work time today because I also have a patron live that I had to move to one o'clock because of this whole drop off scenario. So that is my, my priority. I would also really like to clean my office up, but I will say that for me, cleaning my office up is often procrastination. So I might do that during my lunch break so that I like have like I'm eating while I'm cleaning because I'm gonna procrastinate. I should do it before I have to do everything else. <sighs> So yeah, this is some fucking hot mess express, but like so much mess, but whatever. Also show you, I got these discs from Amazon. They're aluminum silver for my uh, half letter sized uh, HB90 planner, which I can start putting together. I can't do it today. I don't have time, Cindy, but um, I have an order from Cloth and Paper coming to like really get this set up together, but at least I've got all my HB90 stuff printed. I'm about to start packing orders. I made my David's tea already. It's organic Japanese sencha, which is a green tea. You only steep it for like a minute, minute and a half. I made it because I'm freezing my fucking balls off. It is only... I mean, it's actually less cold today than it was yesterday, but for some reason I cannot shake the chills. Like I left my furry boots on because I'm so cold. I can also hear Lou running around up above me, which is always funny. You hear like a boo -doo 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 -doo. That's good. Stack of orders. By the time this video goes live, I'm actually gonna have my shop closed already for the year, but I will be back in January and I am going to be releasing products periodically throughout the year, right? And so, I would love to hear from you in the comments anything you're interested in when it comes to 
art prints, like things you'd like me to paint, styles of art you're interested in, or items. Like if you want stickers, not counting the decals, but if you want like planner stickers, shit like that, go to Chrissy Ann Designs. That's where my stuff is for the planner world. But for stuff that's like fine art related, things that you could enjoy like that, please let me know ideas in the comments so I can start thinking about what I want to do for next year without taking a huge focus on retail life. So this is today's Cricut Paper Co. Advent. Oh, these are cute. I love these colors. I cannot wait to use these. I'm going to save these all for next year. It is 12.15. My Patreon live is in 45 minutes, so I do need to do at least a small amount of cleaning of this situation and maybe this situation. <laughs> My office is a hot fucking mess. So you can see here that I am making progress. All I have left on my list for the day is to prep the live, do the live, and then work on stuff for freelance, which will be after I get back because I won't have time before. Once the live is done, I'll have time to clean up and then go to my many hours of drop off and doctor's appointments. And I will try to get at least an hour of freelance in afterwards. We will see how that works. Hey everyone, it is time for our uh, patron stream. Today's the seventh. Uh, I did have to do mine a little bit early today. We'll talk about that in a bit. But today what we're gonna do is kind of go over where I think I've landed when it comes to my planner stuff for next year and kind of how I came to that decision. It's 6.49, I know you've seen a lot of me in my office today, but I am exhausted. I came back down here after all of the appointments and sitting on the floor for a little bit and starting some laundry to clean the shit out of my office. And then I ordered dinner and just sandwiches. And then I'm gonna go to bed early. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here, but I will be back tomorrow morning in this same vlog. So I guess for you it'll be in just a second, but like, I, this week is kicking my ass, my guys. Good morning, it's Wednesday the 8th, and I am hoping that today I feels a little less all over the place than the last couple days have. I started last night, but after I signed off the vlog, cleaning my office, look at the majesticness. I mean, it's not totally clean, there's also the not so majesticness underneath, but my desk is clean, my back desk is clean. The rest of my office, we won't worry about right now. Yes, the air bed is still inflated from when my uncle-in-law was here over a week ago. <laughs> I also made my to-do list out last night for work because I looked at the time. I have a live stream tonight, my stickers organizing live stream, and I have some things that really need to get worked on, so I wanted to be realistic with my time, which has not been something I've been very good at since this whole process has started this week of the extra drop off time and pickup time. I have a stress zit that has been bothering me for about a week now and I'm trying not to mess with it. So it goes away, but today it just is angry feeling. Even though it doesn't look as angry, it looks a lot less angry, but it feels more angry. I have to close the giveaway. I have, I wanna get orders printed, but I'm not gonna mail orders today. I'll probably mail orders tomorrow. There's some other, there's some other admin tasks that I need to get done. I have a quick review video I want to film. A shit ton of admin tasks. Uh, once those are done, I want to try and get those done within the first two hours, so be done around 11.30ish. And then after that, spend the whole rest of my day before I have to leave working on freelance work and hopefully knocking off a section of it. So that's my hope for today. I should also note it's like 7.30 right now and I still haven't taken the kids to school yet. They're finishing getting ready. So there's that. I am super excited. It is 11.22 and I did everything I wanted to get done by 11.30, so now I am just going to spend the next couple of hours working on freelance work.
This is a little bit of pre-organization just because there's so much. All right, so I have 27 kits here to do this with. I came across a couple like this one that I had already done. I also got rid of some obsolete Go Wild stuff, like some leftover stickers from Go Wilds that just don't apply anymore, like speaker names, things like that. But I did keep skelt like bases of kits where I could use them again with the colors I like. I also kept my sheet of Go Wild Steves because I fucking love these. I'm gonna put these are the Vegas ones with like Elvis Steve and that's like one of, and the Neon Steve, some of my favorites. So that's gonna go in my Steve binder. And then I also came across this kit and I was wondering where it was because I bought this for Christmas week. And so this one hasn't actually been used yet. So this will go with my weekly kits that haven't been used yet. So 27 kits and we will see how many I can get through. I need to stop because both of my thumbs are so over this entire situation right now. So we're gonna end this. I'm gonna just clean this up. I'm gonna keep this ball with a post-it note on the stack reminding me of how many are in there. We'll put these guys away. We'll put these guys together away. And any binder that does not have a label on the side, like a colorful label on the side, like this guy, I'm going to label it. The colors don't matter because until I get my new binder from Kristen and um, until I get my new binder, my Black Friday order from Kristen, I won't really know exactly what the final like countdown is here in terms of binders being used for kits and then what i will likely wind up doing is taking at least one of these binders and putting some kind of protectors in them or something to put stickers from other shops well good morning it is 7 15 on thursday i did not pick up my camera again last night after the live stream because i was exhausted Dinner was fine. We practiced some training with Layla for maybe about 15 minutes or so. And then I crashed pretty hard pretty early, except I didn't wind up going to sleep as early as I'd want to because I fell down the rabbit hole of blind auditions for The Voice on YouTube. I don't even watch that show. It's dangerous. YouTube's a dangerous place. Why are you here? No, I'm just kidding. This has been the norm this week with all the transitioning. I am exhausted. Uh, I've gotten, even one of my kids was so tired last night, they usually shower at night, they fell asleep and had to shower this morning, which meant the showers this morning have been staggered in a way that's not usual, but thankfully, the last one is in right now, and I've already showered. Hope that's obvious. And <laughs> I have a fairly packed day today. I have, again, my two hour drop off window, and then when that's done, I have a, like, quick, I have like maybe a 45 minute gap and then an online like a telehealth parent like group therapy meeting that I need that Jess and I are participating in and then and then the usual afternoon drop off on my list today my work list is, again, it's very short, and I'm taking a break from freelance work today because my tendonitis got really activated yesterday. So on my list today is a little bit more admin work. I want to just get more orders printed. I think I'm just going to do one final big drop-off at the post office tomorrow after I close the shop. I would like to film two quick face-forward videos for my upcoming, like, end-of-the-year marathon of... Things like that. Today I will be working on what's most likely going to be a 2021 favorites and regrets video as well as like a recap of my 2021 goals. So those are the things I'd like to film. They shouldn't be that long to film. I might be able to get them done but ideally once again I would like them all done within the window between drop off to drop off. And then if I decide to get any work done after the fact, I will probably spend some time setting up my half letter system for my goals because the boot camp starts on Sunday. And I can do that now because my cloth and paper order got here. The, pro the mailman came super early this morning and dropped that off as well as one other thing, which I'll show you in a second. The other things I have to do personal wise today, I should run a load of laundry. I need to meal plan and put my grocery order together. So tomorrow I can do a pickup order because I am not gonna have time to go to the grocery store this weekend, I don't think. Um, 
and then I need to make my list of what cookies I want to work on this weekend and over the next couple of days so that I can get them in the mail in time. Um, again, having to do with the grocery order. So those are my top priorities. And then tonight is the new Wheel of Time episode. So we're going to probably do spaghetti tonight in the Instant Pot because that's fast and easy. My phone is ringing. No thanks. Spam. Anyway, let's look at what I got now. So first thing I got is this Living Well Planner, which was requested that I do a review on it. This review won't be done until uh, after the first of the year, but they had a little bundle which had their Living Well Daily Do Sheet and their Living Well Weekly Wizard Sheet. <laughs> it came in this really janky kind of big padded envelope because the planner itself is in this box, which I'm assuming they just slapped the label in the box, but if you do the bundle, then they have to put it in something else. And then this is the Living Well Planner. It was packed really nicely, including like, uh, like, a, like a foam in the, in the wire O binding. So practical solutions for everyday overwhelm. I got this flowery pattern. So that was my living well order. And then I got this cloth and paper. I believe this was my Black Friday order. And I ordered this specifically for my work planner for next year, my work goals planner for the HB90 method. I'm swapping to a letter, a half letter system because even though I love all of the room that you get with the letter system, the letter size system, it takes up too much space on my desk. Like that seems silly, but it's not silly. It's it's the reality of things. I, I'm less likely to use it right now because it is so girthy, it just is bothering me. So um, anyway, so I'm switching to half letter. The reason not A5, even though that's the other size she offers is because it's easier to print and cut half letter, even though it comes out a little bit janky or doing a booklet style. Got a couple of journaling cards here that came with. There's one item that I ordered for Black Friday that did not come today because it's out of, it like went out of stock and they let me know about that. It's a set of executive post-it notes. I believe they say something, they have like little like thing, like oh hi marks on them for like to do or urgent or whatever. They looked really cool. So I ordered them, but those are coming later apparently. They always package their stuff so cute. Okay, so what did I get? This is not, no, there's not a lot of color here. This is very clear situation. So I got this inbox dashboard that says inbox. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. It's got like a matte kind of, it's not, it is frosted, but it's very like lightly frosted. And then on the other side, I think you put like this. And then the other side is like not coated. So an inbox dashboard. I got some of these executive notes, grid paper notes. The reason I got these specifically is I plan to allow my note taking in my bullet journal next year, but for specific notes, it has the, you can circle the day, the month, and the year. And I just thought these were super suave looking. Uh, what would this be? This is, oh, these are the top dividers, top tab dividers. They're not labeled. I'm going to label them myself. And then I also got the side tab dividers. And then I got the clear, like hard, clear cover. Although I may not be using that right now because I think I got the Martha Stewart one to use. So a bunch of like clear items. So I didn't have to make them myself using laminate. They're all very nice quality. I'm gonna be setting that up and I will film the setup. Although the setup will probably not go up until the right after the first of the year. And we're leaving in like 20 minutes. And I really don't feel like eating yet. My stomach is, sometimes I get really upset stomach in the morning, anyway. Everything on my work to-do list is done. We wound up, the medium wound up going really short, so I had more time, which means instead of adding a bunch of extra work to my list, I am going to set up my half letter now, and then maybe even film the setup for it for next month. And then, uh, if I have time before I have to leave, I will probably start working on my meal plan. Feels good to feel caught up, even though I'm not caught up. Like, realistically, I still have hella work I have to get done. But I'm giving my hand a break from writing, and I am trying to be reasonable with my time right now. So, keep telling yourself that, Cindy.
I've been printing the Maker's Yearbook, like yearly plannings pages. Uh, I've printed them like four times now, and I think I finally got it. So much waste paper, oh my god. After many mishaps, I have got my half letter set up done. My video is filmed for next month. And I think I will film my planner stack video when I get back because I am ahead of schedule. And I could take the time to do my meal planning then, but my planner stack video shouldn't take too long to film. And I really have been excited about it. And once I get out of the way, even though it's like it's my choice, I'll be like, oh, I got it done. So I might do that. And then. I will meal plan and make cookie lists and get ready for the wheel of time, but I'm feeling better about life right now, even though I'm exhausted. <laughs> Getting this planner set up is great because now I'm all set up for the HB90 boot camp starting on Sunday. I'm all ready for that. I'm ready to go. I'm good to go. And I can reassess my fucking Kanban board so I can start thinking about pulling sticky notes off, although I will likely not set my Kanban board until the last week of the year just because I might make all the sticky notes, but I won't set the board until the last week of the year because there's some stuff I'll need to do towards the end of the month. Anyway, I'm gonna get going to do that, get home. Maybe what I'll do is I will give myself until 4.30 because I should get home around 3.45 if everything goes well and give myself until 4.30 and then when that's done, walk away from work, get myself to 4th day, clean my office up, and then walk away from work and get started on meal planning, cookie list, and figuring out dinner for tonight so that tomorrow I can do some yearly stuff that I need to do. And I also have an appointment tomorrow morning. Even though I'm exhausted, and even though it has been a very intense week. Um, I feel like I might be a little bit of Stella getting my groove back. Although part of it might be because my list for today was so short <laughs> that it was not, it felt good to finish it. Like everything is checked off on my work list here. Can't even see that. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, six items plus two emails to send and that's it. And some of those items did not take very long. And I think I'm gonna take a second and open my my advent calendar from Cricut Mist. My tea advent calendar is Buddha Blend, which we already have had and love, and I'm gonna make it when RJ gets home because it's a green tea. Last night we had red pep, red Gouda, red pesto Gouda, and we didn't even eat the, the, the freaking truffle. Ooh, vellum sticky, those are pretty. Oh, those are really pretty. They're like rainbow with, ho well you can't see, rainbow with holographic foil. Rainbow with holographic foil and they're like transparent. These are fucking gorgeous. I'm gonna get rid of this already, but I'm gonna use these, I think, maybe in my planning system for next year. This whole all rainbow stuff is just so goddamn pretty. Okay, so I'm very excited. When I went to pick up the kids, I left the house and mail had gotten here. And I thought that any packages had already come when the shit was dropped off early today, but no, there's another one. My Lisa Eldridge order. Now Here's the thing. I know Lisa Eldridge makeup is expensive because it is. I bought some of it, but it's been so nice. Everything I've gotten has been such good quality and I use it every day. So I ordered two of her new liquid eyeshadows, the liquid Lurex eyeshadows because I'm moving this over a little bit. This is a very awkward angle, but whatever. I ordered two of these because I've been using the Thrive Cosmetics um, eye pencil, the eye brightener, and I really love it. However, I wanted something a little jazzier, but that was similar for when I film videos and get a little nice and still use the pencil. I'm still gonna use it, but I, I, these were fascinating to me because I had been looking for something like this and I was gonna go with the Stila ones, but then she came out with these. So I got two colors, Bianca and Angelica. Bianca 
is this one. It's kind of like a rose goldy, and she showed in her video how you can put a little bit on and blow it out for just a very light wash, like a, or you can make it look a lot more wet. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. And I may use this tomorrow, one of these, and if I do, that'll be the next vlog. But what I will wind up doing is um, maybe filming my makeup tomorrow. Maybe. Okay, so this one is Bianca. It's like the rosy kind of mauve color. And I'm going to just kind of, oh, that's so pretty. I don't know how well you can see that with this light, but like look at the shimmer on that. And the color, when I'm looking at it, is like a pinky kind of beige tone. Very neutral, but like super sparkly. I'm not a makeup guru, you guys. I just know what I like. And makeup that goes on fast and stays is the makeup I like. And that's what this is supposed to be. So that was Bianca. And then the other one is Angelica. And I think this is the, the darker one, question mark? She came out with like six colors. Yeah, this one is much darker. So here's what it looks like before I've blended it out. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I think this lighter one would be the one I would wear on a daily basis, but this darker one would be when I wanted to get fancy. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay, I gotta go wash my hands and then I am going to film my planner stack video and then I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to, I decided I'm gonna order pizza for dinner tonight instead of making dinner because it's wheel of time night and I wanna make my meal plan and I want to get my cookie order, my cookie list figured out and not worry about it. Yeah, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Episode six of the Wheel of Time was really, really good. Was so good. It was really good. Um, I just came down here to, uh, what did I come down here for? I made my to-do list up for tomorrow. I'm exhausted. This has been a long fucking week. I'm just ready for the next, for the weekend. So I'm gonna close this vlog out here. I'm sorry that it wasn't as interesting as I'd hoped. I'd hoped to do a lot of candy making and shit, but this is real life, especially when your family is dealing with some stuff behind the scenes that I can't really show. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. I would love to hear from you in the comments a show you're watching right now that you're really into, whether it's new or it's something you're binge watching. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends.